Hi everybody and welcome to meditation. My name is Maz and I'm going to be guiding you through this short meditation today. Um, what I thought would be quite nice to do before we start coming to our seated meditation is to just move through a few very simple um, stretches just to prepare the body. Often um, what people find as a barrier to seated meditation is the fact that they get really quite distracted by the body. The body can quickly become uncomfortable. You might start to feel um, pain or sensation into the knees or into the hips or into the back. So what I thought would be really nice is if we just spend a little bit of time moving through just some very gentle stretches, just as a way to kind of loosen up the body and prepare us to sit. We're going to sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, of course, if during the seated meditation you feel really, really super uncomfortable and you absolutely need to move, then that is absolutely fine. Um, but what I'm hoping is that by um, just doing these few very simple stretches before we begin, we might be able to be a little bit more comfortable in our seated meditation for a little bit longer. So before we come to our stretches, I would recommend to maybe have with you a block or two blocks if you have them. Um, if not, you can use cushions, um, anything that allows you to kind of elevate your hips. Because when, when we are in our seated meditation, if you do choose to sit with the legs crossed, we want to be able to sit with the knees below the hips. So if when you are seated directly on the ground, you find your knees are quite high up, if you do come to sit onto a block, that's going to assist you to lower those um, hips down. We want to be nice and tall, so sitting nice and tall through the upper body, so lengthening from the ground all the way up through to the crown of the head. And then we have your hands just resting lightly onto the knees or into the lap. There's a softness through the shoulders. Before we start to make our way into that meditation, we're actually going to start by coming to lie onto the back. So lying onto your back, bringing your soles of the feet onto the mat and just laying the arms by the side, slide your tailbone away from you, gently tilt your chin towards your chest and just allow yourself to settle into a place of stillness. Breathing in and out through the nose. Feeling the body expanding with every inhalation. Feeling the body gently contracting, grounding with each exhalation. And just take this time to settle in. Take this time to really arrive onto, onto your mat or into the space that you're using to meditate today. And then from there, we're going to keep the sole of the left foot onto the mat. We're going to bring the right knee into the chest. And we're going to start to cross the right ankle outside of the left thigh. And we want to gently spiral that right thigh away from us. Flex your right foot. So you might start to feel a stretch through the right outer hip and thigh. So maybe this is enough for you today. You might be staying here with that left foot on the ground. If you know that you could possibly find a little bit more space, then you're going to start to slowly lift that left foot up off the ground, drawing both knees into the chest, threading the arms through the legs, either interlacing your fingers to the outside of your left knee or at the back of your left thigh. Gently draw the knees in. Keep rotating that right thigh away from you. And just take a few breaths in here. So finding space into that right outer hip and thigh. The glute and the IT band. And just take a few breaths here. Let your breath be soft, natural, calm and even. With each breath, you might be able to draw the knees in a little bit closer, but without forcing, make sure there's no sensation into that right knee. We just want to be stretching the outer hip and thigh on the right side, keeping your lower back in contact with the ground, keeping the head and shoulders in contact with the ground.
couple of more breaths. Finding space. Okay, from there, start to let go of that left leg. Bring the sole of the left foot down onto the mat. Place the sole of the right foot down onto the mat. And we're gonna drop both knees over to the left side. So we're gonna come into a twist. Drop the knees to the left. Maybe you slide your hips and your upper body over to the right. Take the arms out to the side. Let that right shoulder be drawn down towards the ground. Continuing here to find a stretch through the right outer hip and thigh, but also finding space through the right side of the torso, so that right side of the rib cage. Breathing into that space. Breath is soft, calm, steady, even. Last few more breaths in here. And then with your next soft inhalation, allow the knees to come back to center. Hips come back to center. Draw your knees into the chest just for a moment and take a couple of gentle little rocks from side to side, giving the lower back a little bit of a massage. And then we're going to come to the other side. So bring the soles of the feet down onto the mat once again. Slide the tailbone away from you. Keep the sole of the right foot down this time and then cross the left ankle outside of the right thigh. Gently flex the left foot and spiral that left thigh away from you. You might already start to feel that stretch through the left glute and IT band. Maybe this is where you stay today. Maybe this is enough for you. We just want there to be a gentle stretch, so nothing intense. If you feel like there's a little bit more space, then once again, you start to lift up that right foot and draw the knees in. Again, you might stay here. You don't necessarily need to involve the arms. You can just keep drawing the knees into the chest. If you are taking the bind, thread the arms through, either taking the outside of the right knee or the back of the right thigh, Whatever feels good for you, draw those knees in and we breathe in here. Keep that left foot gently flexed. Keep connected to the breath, it's soft and natural. Finding stillness. So often it's said that the, the physical practice of yoga asana is a preparation for seated meditation because it's through this physical asana practice that, as I said, we really just start to open up the body so that we're able to, to sit still and be comfortable for extended amounts of time. But also these, these physical postures or asanas can be meditations in, in themselves. When we're in this place of stillness, we, we connect to the breath, we tune into the physical body. This can be a meditation. We've just got a few more seconds in here. And then we're going to gently bring the sole of the right foot down onto the mat. We're going to bring the sole of the left foot down onto the mat. And we're going to drop the knees this time over to the right side. Coming into that twist. Let your left shoulder come into contact with the ground. Gently rolling open the chest. Finding your twist. So you continue to find space through that left outer hip and thigh. But as you twist, you're also bringing, bringing space into the left side of the rib cage the left side of the torso, soft breaths, calm, steady breaths.
Notice if you're holding any, any tension or gripping in any of the muscles and just, just see if you can invite that to soften. Take just a few more moments in here. And then very slowly with a soft inhalation, bring the knees back to center, bring the hips back to center. Draw the knees into the chest, take a few gentle rocks from side to side, massaging the lower back. And from there, take your hands to the back of your thighs and start to rock up and down, inhaling up, exhaling down, massaging along the entire length of the spine, inhaling up, Exhaling down, taking a few rocks until you find your way all the way up. We're going to cross the ankles underneath. We're going to roll forward and come to all fours. So coming to a tabletop position. Just going to do a couple of more stretches before we move towards our seated meditation. So start to slowly extend your right leg out behind you, flexing that right foot. Keep dropping the right hip down towards the ground. And then slowly start to bring that right knee in, bend the knee and place the right foot down between the hands. Keep the left knee down. If your knee is sensitive, you might support underneath with a cushion. From there, we're going to come up, placing both hands onto that right thigh, lifting up, finding a stretch through that left uh, quad and hip flexor, so the front of the left thigh. You might also be feeling a stretch into maybe the right hip, the right groin and we just take a few breaths in here keeping the breath nice and soft just coming into this low lunge breathing here nice and soft From there, we're going to find a gentle hamstring stretch. So we're going to place the hands down either side of that right foot. And we're going to start to send the hips back. We're going to start to straighten that right leg. It doesn't need to be completely straight, as much as you can. As you straighten the right leg, flex that right foot. So flex the toes towards you. Coming into a half split here. Breathing here, finding space through the back of that right leg. You might have hands on blocks if it feels too much to have the hands onto the ground. Just take two more soft breaths. Keep drawing that right foot towards you. Gently draw the inner thighs together. And then slowly start to bend the right leg once again. Bring the sole of the right foot onto the mat. Press into the palms and release that right leg back, coming to all fours once again, coming to the other side, extending that left leg out behind you, flex the foot, notice if that left hip wants to roll open, keep rolling the left hip down towards the ground, and then slowly start to bend that left leg into the chest, placing your left foot down between the hands, maybe give it a hand if you need to, from there, start to lift up your torso, bringing both hands to rest lightly onto that left thigh. Feel free to support underneath your right knee if you need to. And just gently, 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 gently press your hips forward. It doesn't need to be anything too extreme. We just want to find that gentle stretch through the front of the right thigh as you breathe in here. Breath is soft. Softening the shoulders. Finding space through the front of the body. Take a couple of more breaths here. And then gently release your hands down onto the mat to frame your left foot very slowly start to send your hips back 
and start to straighten that left leg. It doesn't need to be completely straight. You might just come to here. You might start to gradually straighten that left leg a little bit more. Flex the left foot towards you. So drawing the left toes towards the face, coming into that half split. So finding a stretch through the back of that left leg, the hamstring. Try to keep the chest lifted. So you might have hands on blocks. You might be up onto the fingertips. Again, gently drawing the inner thighs together as you breathe in here. Last breath. Very slowly, start to soften that left knee, start to bring the sole of the left foot down onto the mat once again, and bring that left knee back down, coming back to all fours. Let's just take a few rounds of cat and cow. So gently inhale, raise the hips, open up the chest, look forward. Exhale, press the ground away, round the spine, bring the chin to chest. Again, inhale, raising up your hips, opening up your chest, gaze forward. Exhale, press the ground away, round the spine, dome the upper back. Take one more round, inhaling, raising up your hips, open up the chest. Exhale, press the ground away, round the spine. And then as you inhale, come back to neutral, come back to that tabletop position. From there, send your hips back towards your heels. Let's come into a child's pose briefly, reaching the fingertips forward, 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 forward. Releasing the forehead down. Take a deep inhalation through the nose. Open up the mouth, exhale. One more time, inhale deeply through the nose. And then come up to all fours. And from there, start to make your way towards your seated position. So we're gonna come to our seated meditation now. Grabbing any props you think you might need. I like to use a block. You can come to sit cross-legged if that feels good for you. If you know that that's not good for you, then you might experiment with coming to sit onto the heels. You might extend the legs in front of you. You can be sitting on a chair. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be seated on the floor. If that's really not good for you, then please feel free to sit onto a chair. Um, bringing the feet onto the ground as long as you're able to really just sit up nice and tall we don't kind of want to be slumping or coming into a position where we're really super relaxed so just take a moment or two to find your position sit bones are grounded as I said in the beginning there is a gentle lengthening from the ground all the way up through to the crown of the head and as you arrive into your position Rest your hands lightly onto the knees or into the lap. Soften your shoulders. If it's comfortable for you to do so, close down the eyes softly. If closing the eyes doesn't feel good for you, then just try to soften your gaze downwards so that you can start to invite the gaze inwards so that you're not going to be distracted by anything that might be going on around you. And just let yourself be still. Let the breath be natural. And we're actually going to use the breath today as the, the focus of our meditation. So there are infinite things that you can use as a focus of your meditation. Today we're going to use the breath. I think it's one of the more simple, kind of more tangible things. So just let that breath be natural, calm, soft, no need to try and influence it in any way. Just start to allow yourself to become aware of the sensation of the breath as it moves in and out of the body. So it, it might be that you are connecting to the sensation around the nostrils, around the upper lip, 
So that sensation of the breath, the air traveling in and out. It might be that you're connecting to the sensation of the expanding and contracting of the belly, the rib cage. Just allow yourself to connect to the breath in a way that resonates with you. Breathing in and breathing out. There's nowhere, nowhere to go, nothing to do for this, for this next 10 or 15 minutes. Just allow yourself to, to observe the breath, to feel the breath, to be with the breath. You might notice that every one or two or three breaths, you're distracted or the mind wanders. And that's okay. We're not here to, to stop thoughts. We're not here to empty the mind. We're here to be present. So any time that your awareness moves from the breath, acknowledge that. Welcome thoughts, welcome emotions. And then just allow them to drift away and come back to the breath. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Every inhalation expanding. Every exhalation Grounding, rooting. Any time the mind wanders or your awareness is distracted, it's okay. Acknowledge and accept any distractions and then kindly guide your awareness back to the breath. Guide your awareness back to this, this space, this moment, the in-breath, the out-breath.
acknowledge where the mind wanders without judging. Accepting thoughts, emotions. And then re-establishing that connection to the breath. Breathing in, breathing out, expanding, contracting, rising, falling. The breath is the anchor to this moment. To each and every moment. Just going to spend another couple of minutes here, really allow yourself to, to deeply connect to the breath. Inhale, exhale. Breathing in, breathing out, feeling the sensation of the breath as it moves 
in and out of your body. In and out of your body. Gradually start to release and relax your effort. Bring the palms of your hands together and rub the palms. Generate some heat. Rubbing the palms back and forward. And then gently cup your palms over your eyes. Feel that heat. Link the eyes open behind the palms, just gradually allowing a little bit of light to seep in. Keeping the gaze soft, gently release the hands down towards the ground. With an inhalation, sweep the arms high, lengthen, reach tall. Exhale, release the arms down. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, sweep the arms up, reach high, lengthen. Exhale, sweep the arms down. One more time, moving the body. Inhale, sweep the arms up, reach high. Exhale, sweep the arms all the way down. Join your palms together. Bring the thumbs to the center of the chest. Take a moment in there. And then gently lift the thumbs to the center of the forehead and slowly find your way into a forward fold, placing your hands down towards the earth. Namaste. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me for this meditation. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, then please feel free to pop them into the comments below the video. Um, thank you so much again for joining me. I hope you have a beautiful day and I hope to see you very, very soon. Thank you so much.